वाहे गुरु गुरु रामदास आद गुरे नमे जुगाद गुरे नमे सत गुरे नमे श्री गुरु देव नमे वैर जी का खालसा it is a very difficult part of the human life to understand how wonderful pain is how wonderful tragedy is and how powerful in our build and our achievement the opposition is you might be in a position to travel around and do understand it is very easy for an aeroplane to take the opposite wind and take the height of the flight ab baad e mukhalif tera shukriya ab baad e mukhalif tera shukriya तेरी वजह से हमारा परवाज है ऐ बाद मुखालफ तेरा शुक्रिया तेरी ही वजह से हमारा परवाज है ऐ हयात मुखालफ हयात कुन तेरी ही वजह से हम शहबाज हैं ओ अपोजिट विंड आई एम ग्रेटफुल टू यू because of thy self i have reached this height oh painful opposition i am grateful to you for that only i have become he man i'm just making it a simple english for your understanding the pain the opposition the abuse the tragedy the deceit conspiracies are very painful nobody wants them but do you know they are simple challenges and without them nobody could have even understood how one can live beyond the feeling of this earth with the power of the heavens what is the difference between a man of god and a man of a man when all men get together in a very congregated self of rule it's called imperial law a law of the state and with that when they condemn the man of god the smile at the face of the man of god is worth zillion 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 preciousness because he has the time and the privilege to mark at the limited power of the egomaniac man who thinks the earth is the only place which can be worth anything forgetting that the man of god does not think earth more than a tennis ball is the difference of consciousness as a player of tennis can do the service with the tennis ball a man of god can do the service with his head and can roll it over to the court of the treacherous executor with absolutely that smile in which a tennis player can really do the service hard sophisticated and classified as a good service there's no difference in feelings as a golf player 
can really hit the golf ball and bring it to the hole, the wholesomeness of the very satisfied man of God is the achievement when his body drops, duly condemned for godly reasons. And when people do slander, do insult, do say mean things, which meaninglessly are meant to hurt this person, the very prayer at that time to bless them in forgiveness is the highest prayer ever God in human body could have himself done. That is why Guru Arjan could forgive, Guru Teg Bahadur could sacrifice, Buddha could just peacefully give his body and so Jesus could go on the cross and forgive those who was at that time enjoying kneeling him on the cross. Guru Arjan could forgive and bless those who was responsible for putting him on a hot plate and putting burning hot sand over his body, baking him like that of a baking potato. There was no difference. Me and you, in our sensitivity, can feel the pain, but you do not understand and feel the joy of those people at that time because they were given the God, this body back as an offering to the treacherous mind of the earthly, egomaniac, selfish, self-polluted minds who still think today or shall think tomorrow that they have got the best of the edge. Those who are responsible of attacking the Akal Takht, whatever the reason is, we are grateful to them today. They have awakened us. That mirage, that falsehood, that in the land of the Gurus, House of the Guru shall always be safe. The declaration that there shall be religious freedom and the houses of freedom shall be considered sanctuary, untouchable by any circumstances. That promise has been broken. You cannot do anything more than that. Just remember me. If you ever remember me for something, please remember me for this. You cannot do any good and any bad. The worst you can do is when you give a promise and you break it. That's all you can do. Whether breaking of your promise or taking of your vow or your commitment may bring disaster or not is not in your hand. But that's all you can do. And this is not you are doing to the other person. This is you committing your sin against your own consciousness for which you and your generation shall suffer. That's the law of nature. Where is the Roman Empire today? Where is Christ is not? Where is the Caesar? And where is Jesus not? Where is the Mughal Empire? And where Guru Arjan Dev is not? The hand of God, the unseen power of the Creator, is manifested 
and the sacrifice is made to show those who feel they are the absolute monarch of this earth and a little man of God comes out and proves it. No, God is still the owner. Today the house of God, Akal Takht, showed its might. Though they feel sacrifice was done and they recuperated by re-erecting it, resurrecting it. But they don't understand. In that sacrifice, in that resurrection, Panth Khalsa has been established deep in time and space forever. On that, I'd like to congratulate you. Some of you are very innocent. They do not know what tomorrow is for you. But whatever the history tomorrow is, you can understand the history of those people who used to just draw on the ground the fishes and wherever the eye used to point out and those pointing eyes will lead you to those little caves where these people who believed and loved Jesus used to pray. And don't misunderstand those times and space where they were burnt alive that they were undesirable and they were put before the lions and that was the joy. What happened? In a couple hundred years, that Roman Empire fell before them. Same history was repeated at the time of Mughal Empire, but much worse. And what happened? In a couple hundred years, Mughal Empire fell before Khalsa, Darbar-e Khalsa. And today, if someone wants to start the sequence, somebody all should, should read the consequences. It is written over the wall. I am not sad today. I am happy today. that I'm alive and I could watch Siri Akal Takht sacrificing itself and resurrecting itself with its own glory. Those who destroyed it thought it was the bricks and the mortar and it's the building. To me, it was the th throne eternal of the spiritual God on the earth. It was on the wane of the psyche of the spirituality. And its resurrection proves its livelihood. I feel that as a carrier, as a messenger, with my very little knowledge and little effort, with all the human weaknesses which I enjoy and with all the fanatic strength which you have, we have created a relationship between us and the Guru, between the history and we are the part of that history. And this relationship will live forever. This will prosper forever and this will exist forever. Mailmen come, they serve the zones, and then they retire. Some don't like mailmen in their beats, and some you have seen have dogs to bark at them, tear up their clothes, and injure them. Mailmen are always accustomed to this, this is a part of their job. There are a lot of owners who let their angry dogs at their mailmen. A lot of egos are out to do that. And there are a lot of people who will enjoy it. 
but the mail shall be delivered in time. It's had established its communication. People who belong to the Sri Guru Granth has established the relationship. Duty of the mailman has finished. What shall happen to this body? It is already said and done. Path of the people of God and the Sikhs of the Guru is a written path. It cannot change. Mother of a little Sikh went to the court of the king and said, My child is not a Sikh. She testified, attested, and got the orders. Brought to the executor. Look, my son is not sick. I have given declaration. Give me back my son. He said, sure, sure. These are the orders of the high court. You can have it. And when that little child, eight-year-old, was told the order, he said, uh, yes, this is my name. He said, but who brought it? Your mother. He said, my mother brought it. I like to see who is my mother. They said, this is your mother. He said, no, this is not my mother. I have never seen her. They said, this is your mother. He said, she must be saying is right. It must be truth. Where I am concerned, consciously I can swear, my mother cannot do it. She is not my mother. She is, she does look like my mother. And I am not a part of this plot. He said, these are the orders. You sign the release. He took the orders, tore it up. He said, release is signed. I am going. Please don't take me from the line of those who are lined for sacrifice. When Guru Arjun was said, you are Prathakar, you are personified God. Why cannot we not stop this? He said, when a Sikh will go through this torture, who has laid the way? Who has led the lesson? Who has proven the point? So please, just remember, our history in the West has started. The guide of this dharma, the father of this dharma is Guru Gobind Singh. The mother of this dharma is Mata Sahib Deva. And dharma is by the will of the Akal Purk. Khalsa Akal Purk ki Fauj. Pargatyo Khalsa Parmatam ki Mauj. In the blissful state of God, Khalsa appeared. Our life is well ordained, is a happy life. It has its traditions and it has its points. If you can do anything for me and for yourself on this day, just pray that when the end comes, it should be in the faith of the Guru. There's no other desire worth desiring. De shiva bar moe hai, shub karmande kabu na daru. Na daru arse hun jab jaya ladu, nishche kar apne jeet karu. Arse kho apne hi man ko, e lala chahon gun taun chiru, jab aav ki aud na dhan bane, at hi ran me tab juj maru. If my end come, let me be dying, fighting for the cause. And I have no other desire. Those who want to test me out, they are the blessed of the God because it is the always the opposition which gives the flight the height. I feel free and I want you to feel free. Walk like a mountain. Just imagine whole Himalaya as a strength and each one of you as a peak, as a mountain. What they call them? 
You understand? White had covered, walking range after range, walking with that pride and destiny, and being proud to be with God. And feeling the nearness of the Guru in the heart. Yet time has not stopped it. There are going to be things done to us which shall test our faith. And we are very proud to Almighty God. He set the examination for us at fast intervals. Therefore, please don't misunderstand what Akal Takht has done for us. For all we are rising from the dust of the Western Hemisphere and who are trying to keep up a head above clouds and the white covered peaks of the mountain Just understand, there is some mountain I'm going to call Mount McKinley, what they call it? In Alaska? Yeah, same thing. The might, the range of it, the line, the files after file, the whiteness of it, and the greenness of it, and the strength is carried, and steadiness is represented, is all what you can be. And all those who try to make, these rats who want to make a hole, it's just like a rat who wants to just make a little hole in the big, huge mountain. What difference it makes? This slender Jesus Christ, this slender Guru Arjun, this slender Guru Nanak. Slender, Dushman baat kare hanoni. Slender shall tell you something which should just hit you hard to shake your feet. But just remember, your feet are the lotus feet. And you are sacrificed to the Guru. Therefore, when somebody slander you and says things to you which are ugly and dirty, bless them and pray for them that God give them a strength to speak good English. And pray for them. The next time when they meet you, they should tell you some good news. And bless them so that they can have strength to see you sometime and speak good word. That's the highest act of divinity you can perform. The sacrifice of the Kaltakht is a personified occasion to understand that so long we live, we shall live in the ecstasy of God and the holiness of the Holy Naam. And we can be proud to say, Nanak Naam, Chardi Kala, Tere Paane, Sarvat Ka Pala. Nanak, translated loud. I didn't hear it. It was very not harmonious. Come on, let us sing it one voice. We want the spirit to be exalted and we want all to be prosperous, including the slanderer, the abusers, and those who have planned differently. Blessed are those who challenge us and put us on the spot so that we can excel in Guru's grace. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa.
Nam